Consider a situation where a plane is flying through the air. Recently, it has passed over an airport. Let's call it Airport A. It is currently flying in the direction of another airport. Let's call it Airport B. There's a snowstorm that begins and all planes must be grounded. So this plane must land at the closest possible airport. From the tower at airport A, the angle of elevation to the plane is seven degrees. From the tower at airport B, the angle of elevation is nine degrees. If the towers are known to be 117 miles apart, what airport is closer and how far through the air is the plane from that closest airport? First, let's consider the question of what airport is closest. Well, this situation can be modeled as a triangle, as shown on the screen, and the airplane's distance to airport B is across opposite from an angle that is seven degrees, and the plane's distance from airport A is across from an angle, opposite an angle that is nine degrees. In any triangle, a smaller side is across from a smaller angle, so the smallest distance that this plane would have to travel to an airport is across from the smaller angle seven degrees. And again, the airplane's distance to airport B is across from the smallest angle, the seven degree angle. So airport B is closer. Next, we'll determine how far through the air the plane must travel to get to that airport. This situation is modeled by a triangle, and what we know about this triangle is an angle, then the measure of a side, then another angle. When you know angle, side, angle of a triangle, that tri triangle can be solved. All of the parts of the triangle can be found using the law of sines. So next, we will answer the question, how far through the air the plane has to travel to get to airport B by using the law of sines. To apply the law of sines, I need to know the angle that is opposite the side that is 117 miles. To use the law of sines, you need to know at least one side and the angle across from it. Because the three angles in a triangle always add up to 180 degrees, you can find the measure of the angle below the airplane by subtracting from 180. In this case, 180 minus 7 minus 9, the other two angles in the triangle, is equal to 164 degrees. Therefore, the angle below the airplane is 164 degrees. Now, the law of sine states that the sine of any angle in a triangle divided by the length of the side opposite it is equal to that same ratio for any other angle and the side across from it. In this problem, now that I've done the subtraction from 180, I know 164 degree angle and opposite that a side that is 117. And I'll use that to find the distance D the distance between the airplane and airport B, it is across from an angle that is seven degrees. This will look like the proportion sine of 164 over 117 equals the sine of seven over the unknown side D. To solve this equation, I'll cross multiply D times the sine of 164 equals 117 times the sine of seven I just have to do one step of algebra to isolate D. Simply divide both sides of the equation by the sine of 164, and that unknown side, the distance from the airplane to airport B, is represented by the expression 117 times the sine of 7 over the sine of 164. Now this certainly will be irrational, but to one decimal place, it's 51.7 miles. The distance of the airplane to the closer airport is 51.7 miles.